Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Ruse Review, and today I have another Wanimals. So I did receive two Wanimals on the same day. I received my regular style edit, and I also received my patio edit, which I have recorded the patio edit, so please check that out. So I am sure you know that Wantables is a clothing subscription company. They charge a $20 styling fee. Whenever you decide to keep, that $20 does go towards that purchase. So let me just dive right in. Again, it always comes with an envelope to return it. And this is just my regular style edit. Um, looking chic while staying comfortable yes please to get the great balance in your wardrobe I made sure to send fabulous fabrics perfect prints and chic silhouettes have fun trying everything on um, and let me know what you think thank you for giving us the opportunity to grow your style with you we appreciate hearing from you and letting us know what you think stay well and Sarah styled this. Okay, the first thing I see here is this tie-dye shirt. And it is Pink Floyd, the dark side of the moon. Cute shirt, very, very soft. Like, wow, soft. Mm. That is really cute. This is Chaser, which I'm really starting to fall in love, which is a brand I really like. I've really fallen in love with their things. Um, I've gotten quite a few pieces. I think in Wannables, but I think in another subscription box as well. But this is Pink Floyd Vintage Jersey Tie-Dye Tee, and it's $62. So that's cute. It's a little more than I usually would pay for a t-shirt, but it is very soft. So I'll keep this in mind. And then here I have, this is a fun little skirt. It's kind of like pleated. And then at the bottom it ruches out. I'm intrigued to try it on. I don't know if I have a shirt to go with this though. I'm not sure what I would wear with this, but I'll have to see what I have in my closet. Unless they provided me something that would be helpful. <laughs> Very lightweight, um, kind of feels like silky. And it does say that this garment is made of recycled materials. Hmm. All right, well, I will try that on, see what we think. This is the BB Dakota Color My World skirt in multi-color. Um, it is $69. Ooh. This is an expensive little box. All right, next. Next, I have this top here. Now see, I don't mind this floral pattern. I think it's kind of cute. You can dress it up or dress it down has these pretty flowers. I love this teal color back here. Um, it's like a tunic where it's longer in the back and shorter in the front. And then it just has that twist detail. Sometimes that cannot be flattering. So we'll have to see where it falls and how it looks. Oh, it's a nice brand. Um, it is cut from the cloth. It's the Kala Wrap Top in Teal and is $68. So, all right, the next thing we have here. Oh, I think it's another kimono. I can never have enough of these, I'm telling you. So here it is. It's a very silky, very silky. I love the colors, the yellows and blues and oranges, <laughs> believe it or not. My kitchen, I used to have a kitchen, it was a long time ago, but it was blue, yellow, and orange. So I had like 
a blue accent wall with blue countertops and I had a yellow accent wall and then I had um, yellow curtains and I had, ooh, it doesn't sound very nice, but it really was cute. And then I had orange like accessories, like I had orange plates and cups and like, it, anyways, it's a lot cuter than it sounds, I promise. It was actually pretty cute, but that was a long time ago. Anyhow, this is Elegant Essence. It's the flower print satin kimono in yellow and it is $39. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and then it looks like another thing that, the only in this box that I did request right here is this Gentle Fawn. It's an indie cami in white um, for $40. Okay. So here's the front and it has like that V neck and I love the back, that is super cute. Little detail. It has a really nice length to it. And so I'm excited to try this on. I don't really have that many white tank tops, so this could be really good. And the next thing I have here are these hot pink shorts. And here they are. These are the Lila Ryan Savannah short in shocking pink and they are $68. Mm, this is really an expensive box. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a little sticker shock. Anyhow, the last thing I see here are these joggers. And it looks like a brown. Um, I don't even, I got chocolate, milk chocolate brown. Um, it does have some pockets in the back and it does have two front pockets. Now these are always comfortable. I love to have a comfy jogger. They do feel a little thick. This is the Gentle Fawn Weston Jogger in Auburn. So they're calling it Auburn. And they are $69. That is the seven items. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get a, try a couple of these on and yeah, see what I think. The box is a little pricey for me. Um, the total box would be $415, but if you keep five items or more, you get an $83 discount. And so if I kept everything, it would be $312. Now, on a teacher's salary, that's a little, little more than I would like to spend. I will try them on, I will see what I think, and I will go from there. Maybe I just have to give myself an early Christmas present, I don't know. Okay, the first thing I have on are these hot pink shorts, and I just paired it with the black tank top from my other Wantables box. I like these a lot. They have a little stretch to them, which is nice. The length is great and I love the color. I love this hot pink color. They're very lightweight, they're soft. I'll show you the backs. And here's the back. And they are really cute, I do like them. I like the other two shorts in the model box as well, so I don't know if I need to keep all three shorts, but I do love the color and the style of this. Um, very cute. So this will definitely be a maybe. All right, here is this kimono. I love this thing so much. It is so soft and silky and I really like this a lot. I also like the way it's cut right here um, because if it was too long or just kind of slipping or getting in the way, you could always kind of just tie it off if you wanted to and leave the back out. So I like this a lot. It can be worn with a lot of different colors. And this is just great to throw in a bag. 
So if you are going from the gym to go out, you could just throw this over a, a tank top and just dress it up with some shoes and there you go, you're, you're good for happy hour. Or, you know, you could maybe throw it in your bag after work and throw it on if you didn't wear it to work. So there's just a lot of ideas and things you could do with this. Um, yeah, I'm in trouble. All right, I'm going to try on a shirt with these shorts just because it will match better than what's in the box and I'll be back. Okay guys, here is this shirt. I love the colors in it. I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. I like the pattern. Um, I don't know if it's just too big for me or if it's the style, but it makes me look huge down here. Like, look, this looks like a belly hanging over the pants, like a really bad muffin top right here. At least that's the way it is appearing in my mirror. And if you look on the side here, it adds all this, all this weight. It just kind of adds puffiness in places you don't want puffiness. So, um, unfortunately, this is gonna go back. I'll show you the back. So the length in the back is nice. It just, it just sits funny and it's too bad because I really did like the pattern and the color. It just, this is odd. It's a little awkward. And not flattering at all. So, yep. Yeah, you can even feel down here that it's thicker than in other areas of the shirt. It's just, just adding pounds to where this will be going back and on to the next. Okay guys, here are these joggers. They're really long on me. Um, I am only 5'3", um, so maybe it would look better on a taller person, but this is not doing anything for me. I don't like the way the pockets puff out. I think it adds dimension or it adds to my, my waistline here and I don't appreciate that. I don't like that at all. Um, and I'm not a fan of the color. I think the color is kind of blah, especially for summer. Here's the back of these. Um, yeah, I am not a fan. I will say they're comfortable. I'll, I'll give them comfort, but I'm in my AC house and I'm kind of sweating right now and they're a little warm. So I can't see these staying. These are gonna end up back in the box. So I think I have one more thing and then I'll talk about the shirt as well. Okay, well, here is the skirt. It's really comfortable. It feels really funny on. Um, the material is very I don't know, swishy. So if you're going to go dancing or something, especially salsa, this would be a great skirt. <laughs> it is very fun and flirty. I don't think I'd pair it with this shirt in particular, but yeah, I just want to dance. I just want to do some salsa. <laughs> it's just that kind of skirt. It is really, really fun and I think it fits nice. Um, the length is great. This could definitely be a go out girls night on the town, or it could be a work skirt, depending on what you pair it with. So, huh, I'm a little surprised that I actually really like this skirt. It's just really fun. So one thing I do want to point out is this white part here and any of the white parts is pretty see-through. This might only be a work skirt if you put on a slip underneath. Like I said, it's, I, I don't know if you can see, it's very sheer right here. So like if you look, you can see right here, it's very sheer um, material. And so yeah, this would definitely be something you would have to wear a slip with if you wanted to wear to work, or at least if I wanted to wear to work. Um, but like I said, it is very fun, very flirty, 
very salsa, very dance. Here it's a nice tank top. It has a really good length. So this could be worn with leggings. It's very soft and I like the cut of it. Um, the back is super cute with that detail. So there's the back and it is a really cute, soft tank top. And there is one more thing for, to, for me to try on and that's just the t-shirt. So I will be back. All right, here's the last t-shirt. It is the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon tie-dye t-shirt. It is really comfortable. I like it a lot. I do not like it for $68 though. Um, yeah, it is very comfortable, super cute, very chill. Like the Pink Floyd, um, here's just the back but I'm not paying $68 for a t-shirt. That's just I me. I just, I can't. Plus there's so many other things I'm in love with with these two Wannables box. I have got to pare down what I'm keeping and really focus on the things I'm absolutely in love with. And this is a nice t-shirt, but not one I'm gonna keep. So I'll be back. For the recap. So if you watched my other wantables, you'll know that I had some technical issues. I don't know what happened to the filming of the recap. Um, I, I don't know. It, it, somehow it got deleted, they got lost. And so I'm thankful and I'm lucky enough that I caught it right away and I am able to film it before because I haven't sent it back. So the first thing is this Chaser tie-dye Pink Floyd t-shirt. That is going back. I am not spending, how much is this thing? I just can't spend $62 on a t-shirt. So that's gonna go back. I have this skirt here, which really is fun and flirty and soft and it feels nice. It is see-through on the side. So if you get this, be careful but it is really cute. If I had somewhere to wear it, um, I probably would want to keep it, but I do not really have anywhere to go where I would wear that right now. So I'm gonna send that back. I did like the white tank top, but I spent $40 on the other tank top and I don't wanna spend another 40. So I'm gonna send that back. These shorts were really cute. I love the color. This hot pink is super cute. I like them a lot. But as I said in the other Wantable video, I'm trying to lose some weight and I need to get a pair of shorts and for them not to fit in a couple months. So those are gonna go back. These jogger pants didn't do much for me. I don't like the color, so these are gonna go back. I loved the colors and the pattern on this shirt. Just didn't work for me. So going back. And the thing I am keeping that I'm in love with is this kimono. I really think this is super cute. It's definitely me. I love the color and I don't think the price is that bad. So that is my second wantables bot. That is actually my style edit. So that would be my regular Wantables box. Let me know what you guys think. I always love to hear your comments and see what you think. I did just film the patio edition box. I got them actually on the same day, so that was quite exciting to get the two on the same day. I am pretty happy with this box. I can't complain. I love the kimono. I like the tank top. I just thought it was a little too pricey for me at this time and like I said that skirt was actually kind of kind of cute if I had somewhere to wear I might consider it. I really do like Wannables as a company. I like how they send casual wear. I also like the theme boxes. I think it's kind of fun to get a theme box every once in a while like maybe at the beginning of the season. So if you haven't checked out their theme boxes, you definitely want to go on their website and check them out. Also if I had to get rid of one clothing box. It would not be Wantables. I do enjoy getting this and I look forward to 
them every month. I also do like how they send seven pieces instead of just the five. So if you haven't already, I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does mean the world to me. I also just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day for viewing my channel. And well, guys, until next time.